Uh, moving on, uh, another, uh, another technique that uh, is used oftentimes in machine vision is color segmentation. So um, in this part of the lab, we're going to uh, try and uh, filter, out, filter out objects that are of a certain color. Um, oftentimes you would want to do this to identify a specific object for picking, or maybe you would want to do it for an inspection application to look for a certain color that would indicate quality. Um, so color segmentation is something that's um, pretty widely used in the machine vision space. So let's see how we would do that with the Zivit Point Cloud. Since we want to uh, filter on color, um, we it would it, it makes sense to change the the way that the color information is presented from a RGB resident representation to a HSV or hue, saturation, and value representation. The main benefit here is that um, with hue, saturation, value, all of the color information is actually represented on one uh, dimension, and that would be hue. So by, again, converting into this other uh, color domain, we can much more easily filter out objects that are of a certain color because we can just operate in that hue region. So that's exactly what we do here. We uh, convert first convert from RGB into HSV, and then we go ahead and plot the histograms uh, of each of those uh, each of those uh, parameters here, and we can sort of understand what the uh, color distribution in our image is. So um, by, by understanding where each of the color information is, we can identify the objects uh, in our scene. So going back to this scene, we're going to go ahead and target um, this blue gym here, this light blue gym for color segmentation. Based on our understanding of how the hue histogram sort of is defined, we can we know that the um, the the blue gym is actually in this 87 to 90 uh, value representation. So this spike represents that blue gym that we see in the scene. So if we filter out everything outside of this, um, we should just get the blue gym. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Right here, we put a little filter that takes out all of the points in the scene uh, between or outside of 87 and 90 Q value. When we do that, we get this 2D representation. That's a very clean, uh, clean image of just the blue objects that um, are interesting to us. We look in the 3D representation. We see that that's, for the most part, very true. We have a few floating pixels out here that we can clean up, which we'll do next. But for the most part, because we've done plane removal, because we've done ROI, we've already had a, a fairly filtered point cloud to uh, continue to process. So um, to clean up those last few little pixels, uh, we're going to go ahead and use a blobbing filter. So this looks for um, points that don't have a lot of other neighboring points. and um, calls those noise and then sort of removes them. So when we apply this sort of nearest neighbors filter, blobbing filter, we get an even cleaner point cloud. If we come to the 3D, we're seeing, um, much, we're not seeing any of those uh, sort of floating data points. So what you get right there is something that's very, very close to being ready to be put into a you know, object, rec object um, recognition algorithm or a pose estimator or a pick point estimator, you know, sort of the next stage of what your application can be is, is sort of ready because it's very easy to filter the Zivit point cloud. Sort of a last step, uh, you know, to get to somewhat something that you might see on a, um, a operator GUI, uh, we can try highlighting the piece that we care about in our original scene. So here you can see that we've done that. With the 2D image, we've come back and said all the, the points that we think define the object that we care about are highlighted. We just changed this, that color to red, so you can see it sort of um, highlighted in your scene.